The biggest new feature in iPhoto 09 by far is the new facial recognition tool called Faces. Faces let you quickly and easily find pictures of people that you didn't even know that you had in your photo albums. So I'm going to just quickly look at Faces here. I'm going to double click on this picture. This is my friend Foster. He's riding a bike. Double click on this picture. When it brings up the picture of Foster, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell it that there's a face here. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down on the bottom of iPhoto and I'm going to click on the name button. When I bring the name button up, it's going to find any missing faces. Now I've done some facial recognition before, so it's asking if this face is me, David Schloss. This is not me, so I'm going to click no, and then it's going to ask me to type in the name of the person. So I start to type Foster and it comes up from my address book and now Foster Bass is tagged as somebody in my uh, iPhoto library. I'm going to click the Done button. Now that I've done that with one picture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up on the top here and I'm going to click on the Faces tab. When I click on the Faces button, it's going to bring up all the pictures of people that I have uh, facial recognition of. So I'm going to double click on Foster, who I've just added to that database, and it's going to show me pictures It's certain up on the top are Foster. And then down here it's going to show me all the pictures that may or may not be Foster. Now the first time you do somebody's face, it is very often not terribly accurate. That's because you have to do some training. And so if you look at the pictures down here, some of these pictures are probably Foster and some of these pictures are not Foster. For example, Foster is not this woman here and Foster is not this woman here. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to click confirm name. So what it's going to allow me to do is go through the pictures and confirm whether or not the people that it's seeing as Foster are actually Foster. I'm going to hit the confirm name button. And now when I do that, it's going to change the view that I'm in. And what it's going to do is it's going to zoom in on the face in each of these pictures. And it's going to allow me to choose whether or not Foster is in these pictures. Foster is not in this picture, so I'm going to double click it to say not Foster Bass. I'm going to double click this one. We can also option click a picture to say it is not the person. So I'm going to go through here and option click. But this one is Foster, so I'm going to click it once and it turns green and says it's Foster Bass. And I'm going to go through and just do a couple more of those. These are not him. These are, this is him. This is him. Not him. Not him. Not him. Not him. And so on. When I'm done with that, I click the Done button down at the bottom. Now that I've clicked the Done button, what iPhoto is doing, it's refining my searches. And so it's got more pictures up at the top that it knows are Foster, and it has another series of pictures that's down here at the bottom that it's not sure if it's Foster or not. So I'm going to do another series of that, uh, and then we're going to come back and see how iPhoto is doing. Now I'm going through the process right here and I've been tagging pictures that are and are not Foster. Because I have tens of thousands of images here of people, it's got to go through a lot of people and find out if they're similar people or not. This one particular picture here though, uh, I know who this person is. In fact, I know who most of the people in my pictures are. This particular picture is a good example of this person. This is my friend Jason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this photo of Jason. Instead of just saying whether or not this picture is Foster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it who this person is. And so I'm going to say name and I'm going to start typing in his name, and there's his name there. Now, not only have I tagged this as being not Foster, I've tagged this picture as being Jason, which is remarkably helpful for iPhoto. Now what it can do is it can go back and look at the pictures, and it's doing two things at once. It's both finding pictures that are Foster, and now it knows that this one is Jason, and it can use that to help it find Jason. So I'm just going to finish off here this selection of tagging people. Okay, I'm done, and now that I'm done, I can hit done. And now what iPhoto will do is it'll go through once again, it's going to take that new data that I've given it, and it's going to look for another collection of pictures that may or may not be Foster. Now we notice at this point that I go through, the pictures are starting to be more likely Foster than not Foster. It's found pictures that I've never tagged with Foster before, and it's actually adding them to the list. And so what I'll do is I'll just go through here again, I'm going to tag whether people in these pictures are or are not Foster. A couple times of doing that, and then iPhoto will be able to find all the pictures of Foster, no matter where they live in my iPhoto library. It's really that simple.